Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to slash now dot in. Today I'll tell you about blocks in Drupal. I'll tell you what are blocks and uh, why you should use them. I'll tell you how to reorder or change the position of a block. I'll also tell you how to create your own blocks and uh, in the end I'll show you how to display the blocks only on a certain page. Blocks are basically very important elements in our Drupal website and uh, the first question that you should ask is what are blocks? Well, blocks are basically boxes that are visible in the sidebar of our Drupal website. So in this case, you can see uh, I have three blocks that are there in this demo uh, website and the first block is the search block which you can use to uh, search your website and the second one is the navigation block and the third one is the recent content view block which I have added earlier and uh, uh, this block will basically display the list of pages that were added to the site recently. So uh, uh, well the content in the block can be of two types. Uh, it could be static content or it could be a uh, dynamic content. For example, uh, uh, this block that you see here, the recent content block is a dynamic uh, uh, block and the content in this block can be uh, changed in the feature and it depends on the number of pages that we add to this website. Another example of a, a dynamic block could be uh, your list of recent blog entries uh, if you are maintaining a blog in Drupal then maybe you want to create a blog where you want to display the latest blog entries that you uh, published to your website. Uh, the example uh, of a static blog could be of address uh, section that you want to display on the contact form or on, on your about us uh, page and uh, the, the information in the static uh, block uh, uh, will not change until you uh, modify it. So uh, as you can see blocks are uh, really useful uh, elements in a Drupal website and uh, it could be used to display uh, any sort of uh, information uh, you like. So let me uh, first show you how to modify the order of a block for example if you want to display the recent content block that I showed you on the top so you can click on the structure uh, uh, menu and then go to the block section here and in this section you can see uh, we have uh, various regions in this uh, drop down and these re regions are basically placeholders for your blocks and uh, uh, their positions can be seen uh, when you click on this demonstrate block regions. So uh, I'm clicking on this link and uh, as you can see now that uh, these are the various regions that are available uh, in this theme. The first region that you can see is the header region which you can use probably to put some information about your company uh, mission or your phone numbers. This featured uh, region is basically covering the whole width of the website and it can be used to display the slideshow or maybe you want to show some flash animation here. If you come down you, you will see that this theme has two sidebars one on the left side and another one on the right side and uh, in the middle we have the highlighted section and help section. This help section basically uh, it's a placeholder where uh, the messages are displayed when you perform some actions. For example, if you submit a page or if you submit a comment, then the uh, messages are displayed in this section. Uh, in this theme, it depends on theme. I mean, uh, every theme could have uh, different regions and their size and their appearance depend on the theme designer. And you can also design your own theme and you can also modify the themes uh, that are already there on drupal.org and uh, uh, this is the content region which uh, basically is a placeholder where all the content like pages or blogs will be displayed. 
and uh, if you go down you, you can see three more uh, columns here which can be used to display some information like uh, maybe you want to display your social networking icons or uh, you want to display your address here or you want to display some picture gallery of your uh, uh, maybe if you are a, a corporate and you want to display some pictures here then you can use this section and uh, if you if you uh, go down you will see this gray section and here we have four columns and it could be used for displaying some uh, informa information uh, about your copyright you can place disclaimer link you can put your uh, company logo here and anything you want it it, it, it depends on you so uh, let me go back to the blocks section and uh, let me show you how to reorder the blocks so I want my uh, recent view, uh, recent. Uh, so I want my recently added page block, which is a view, on top. So I can just simply reorder it, and let me uh, save it and show it to you. It is saved now. So maybe I want to go to the home page and refresh it. Okay. So now you can see this uh, recent content block is now on the top, and. Uh, uh, now you can uh, easily now you know how to read or reorder your blocks so let me again go back to the block section and uh, so let me again go back to the block section and show you how to put this uh, recent content block on the second sidebar so you can uh, simply drag it by clicking on this uh, image here and you can drag it uh, to whatever region you want so now I want to display my recent content in the second sidebar okay so uh, <clears throat> let me wait for it to refresh and uh, here it is the recent content is now on the right side of the website so now you know how to uh, reorder a block uh, now you also know how to uh, place a block in a different region and it is up to your imagination how you want to display the information so uh, let me show you now how to add your own block. So you go to the block section again and uh, click on this link add block. And uh, I, I want to add a block to display my uh, address. So I'll enter the block title which will, which will be displayed to the end users. I'll also enter block description which is used for administrat administrative purpose. And here I want to address my, uh, here, here I want to enter my address. So I'll say Lawrence Road, Delhi. Whatever information you want to put, it is up to you. I also want to add my phone number. And my email address. Uh, <clears throat> I also want to add my website URL. Now uh, I've entered my uh, address and some useful information. Now, uh, when I'm creating this block, I can specify where I want to put it. So I want my address to be visible on the right side, which is the sidebar second. <coughs> I'll save it. I'll uh, close this window. Now you can see the address is now visible uh, on the website and uh, 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 there is also a possibility if you want to display a block only on a certain page like right now this these blocks that we have two on the left side and another two on the right side they are displayed across the website if, if I go to the uh, about us page the blocks are there at their original position their position <coughs> are not changing so what if I want to display my address only on the about us page, not on the home page? <clears throat> so for that, uh, you can uh, click on this uh, contextual uh, menu of a block and configure it. And uh, for every block, we can specify where we want to display that particular block. So, uh, so if you want to display this block only on about us page, so you can specify the URL of the page here. So in my case, the URL of the about us page is node. 
slash two and uh, I'll save it. I'll close this window. So now you can see the address block is not visible on the home page. So let me go to the about us page. So you can see that the address is now visible only on the about us page, not anywhere else. In this video, I showed you how to create your own blocks. I showed you how to reorder or change the position of a block. And I also uh, showed you how to change the visibility. Okay, so I hope this video will help you to manage your blocks. Thank you.